Merry Christmas. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. I think we're going. Technology. Uh. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby Jesus. It says birthday boy for those of you on Instagram, those of you on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube. You can see it. One of my favorite Christmas sweaters. I'm looking at two different things here because I got two different devices going. So bear with me. Uh, what am I missing? Can you tell it's been a while since I've done this? <laughs> uh, but that's okay because everybody knows this is just how I roll. Um, <laughs> very humbly, hopefully. So um, not perfect, very imperfect. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, I have, uh, where did they go? I think they went that way. And that's it. Oh, here they are. Actually, you know what? I had these headphones, these AirPods. I'm not going to start it now in the middle, just in case there's an issue. So... Uh, welcome. Got a nice cup of Nespresso here. A Christmas gift to myself. Um, welcome to a uh, Christmas edition of Holy Hour with me, Jonathan Rumi. And if you don't know who I am, uh, I applaud you for stumbling across this and, uh, and, uh, well, I welcome you to, um, hang with me um, and pray, more importantly. Uh, today, um, well, let me just rewind a bit. So I wanna first of all thank Eric Dooley over at Catholify for asking me to be a part of this, uh, this all day prayer event for anyone and everyone, people that uh, maybe don't have uh, people to visit, people that are quarantined, people that are staying away, from family and friends um, because of travel restrictions and, and um, uh, quarantine orders within their uh, states or cities, um, or people that just wanted to uh, have a prayer partner online uh, that happens to be me um, and each other. There's a whole community. For those of you who have never um, prayed along with me before, uh, this is something that I had started doing at the beginning of the pandemic. In, uh, I believe it was in March, I prayed um, just a bunch of different prayers uh, that I knew um, as a Catholic uh, that I wanted to share with people that I thought would um, give people a little uh, sense of peace and hope and uh, serenity and uh, an opportunity to um, just co collectively um, get together this sort of um, unity through community, um, all uh, various and uh, varying denominations uh, and non-denominations and, and um, non-belief, uh, people that just uh, wanted to um, maybe just uh, kind of decompress and, um, you know, and for those who are uh, in the, um, in, in the realms and the categories of the, the faithful, uh, essentially just directing our prayers towards uh, this guy right here. And uh, today's his birthday. So happy birthday to my best friend and hopefully yours, Jesus. Because um, he's amazing. And if you don't know who he is, I encourage you to um, introduce yourselves. Um, this will be a very specific way. But uh, again, for uh, I can't imagine there are people that have just stumbled across me. So, uh, but if you if if you happen to have just found us, or you're you've found me through some other um, avenue, um, I, I I play Jesus on a TV show called The Chosen. It's a show that you can find um, through your apps. 
if you download uh, on the App Store or Google Play, the app called The Chosen, you will find our series that is absolutely free of charge and will give you a real solid introduction to who Jesus is, what his ministry was about, why he changed the world forever, and, uh, and why you might want to get to know him a little deeper. Um, because he will change your life for the better. Uh, and I'm living proof of this, and not because I played him, but as a result of spending so much time preparing to play him, um, I myself have just um, fallen more and more in love with his teachings, who he is, who he was, who he continues to be. And, uh, and I just want to pass that on to other folks. So um, today... This is really warm. I'm gonna take this off. Uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a great idea when I started, but I think this is polyester. Oh, and there's no breathability in this. Um, I got a t-shirt, so I'm going to um, be discreet while I talk to you here and say uh, that the prayers we will be praying today um, our uh, prayers that I would, said when I had started praying early on in the pandemic, um, which will comprise the Rosary, uh, which is a series of uh, meditative moments on the life and death of Jesus Christ today. We will focus on, um, there's different themes called mysteries um, based on the different episodes in Jesus' life. Um, today's Friday. It would typically be the sorrowful mysteries or the themes that revolve around Jesus' crucifixion, torture, and death. Um, and, um, but because it's Christmas, uh, I'm going to focus on the joyful mysteries which surround the, uh, the moments and events uh, relating to his birth and the annunciation of his birth. So hopefully... Um, you guys can uh, get something out of that. And what I'm going to do, especially for those who've never maybe heard the rosary before, and are like, well, hey, what's all this rosary business? You know, um, it's all based on scripture. Everything we do, um, uh, most everything we do is either public um, revelation or private revelation. So uh, prayers, that is. Uh, so these are based on the revelation in scriptures. The, um, and I'm going to do the scriptural rosary today. Um, to give those of you who never heard it an idea of how the rosary is actually based on scripture. So um, I'm also going to do the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Um, you can see it clearly on YouTube, but on Instagram. So right there, that image uh, is an image of Jesus. Um, and it's known as the image of Divine Mercy. And divine mercy essentially is the concept uh, that was communicated through private revelation, through these visions that uh, a Polish nun in the 1930s named um, uh, Sister Faustina uh, had of Christ. And Christ gave her, uh, he, she had all these revelations and Christ gave her all of these uh, concepts and, and, and teachings and, and reminders for all of humanity about how God's uh, mercy is for everyone, no matter how um, badly a person may have fallen or sinned in their lives, um, there is always a room for them as a child of God to uh, be given God's mercy. And praying these prayers uh, with earnestness uh, and not just sort of uh, rote, uh, bland, uh, uh, disconnected repetition uh, that's not what we do when we repeat certain prayers um, because in the rosary as well as in this chaplet we re repeat certain prayers uh, and again most of you that are watching this already know this but just in case there are some new folks that uh, may be newer fans uh, in the last six months since I had done this on a regular basis um, just to give uh, people an idea as to what these prayers are and again they're prayers from um, my life that have gotten me through a lot of tough times that have given me a lot of comfort. And for those of you that never prayed before uh, and that started praying them, 
Uh, um, so many of you had expressed that you too had found um, such value and meaning and, and, and consolation in praying these prayers. And, and that's kind of how it's supposed to work. That's what it's for. So um, leave your denominations at the door. Um, prepare to just center yourselves and focus on Christ and his uh, life uh, and with the chaplet, um, his death as well. Um, uh, but I wanted to do this at uh, three o'clock because it is the hour that Christ uh, died on the cross. So uh, anytime you can pray the chaplet at three o'clock, it's especially powerful for people. So, um, why don't we do that? Why don't we start with the chaplet, and, um, and then we'll, we'll we'll take it from there. It's a good cup of coffee. I wouldn't mind a coffee sponsorship. Espresso. Just saying. Anyone, really. It's any kind of coffee sponsorship. That's fine. Anyways, that's fine. We're getting off track topic here. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, these are uh, my uh, newest rosary beads that were sent to me by um, the good folks at Holy Armament. Um, St. Padre Pio is an Italian priest. Um, his famous quote was, hand me my weapon. Uh, and that's to him what a rosary was. These are rosary beads. You can say various prayers on rosary beads, not just the rosary, which is a specific set of prayers, which we will say. You can also say the Divine Mercy Chaplet which is a series of prayers using the beads. The beads kind of focus you and keep you centered on the prayer, on the, the idea behind the prayer, and helps keep track. Because sometimes when you get lost in meditation, you, you lose the ability to focus, at least I do, for things like keeping count as to how many I said, but it's good, so these help. So these came from Holy Armament, I have a lot, a uh, uh, lovely bunch of rosaries, uh, Kimberly rosaries, luxury rosaries by Kimberly. These were sent to me, and they're a memento mori rosary. That's a skull, and people that have never seen that before, and that's a St. Benedict cross. And these are like chrome, like if I ever got into a, a bad situation, as long as I got my rosary beads, I literally have a weapon with these things. These, these are legit. They're legit and completely legal. So, <laughs> God forbid. Um, so, Memento Mori. Yeah, you're just getting a quick little digest and a recap of stuff. Probably many of you know. A Memento Mori is a Latin phrase. Remember your death. Remember you will die. Um, by focusing on your death, you can hopefully cultivate a more holy and beautiful life. Um, because life is so fleeting, as we all know. Many of you have gone through loss this year. Uh, my family included, and uh, it, it's been a tough year for so many reasons, for extenuating circumstances. Uh, I was unable to go home for Christmas. That's why I'm here. Some of you knew that I was going to travel for Christmas. Um, I could not, so I'm here until I go down to Texas to finish, uh, resume filming season two of The Children. So um, while I was here and with uh, Eric at Catholify's uh, invitation, I thought, why not pray? Um, with everybody and uh, do this because it's been a while. So, um, yeah, uh, a medieval meditation on a person's death uh, is the origins of Memento Mori. There are books on it. Um, the Daughters of St. Paul, uh, uh, Sister Teresa Althea, uh, Alethea has uh, written beautiful books on uh, Memento Mori devotion and how it's not that scary. There's nothing to be aware of. There's nothing satanic about this image. This is, we all have one of these in here. It's, it's about mortality and not fearing our mortality. So, so I'm going to use these. So since it is 315, um, I've got my little 
Christmas candle here. Some Christmas candle I got it from my church that gave it out. Um, the light of the world is coming to the world uh, and expose the darkness. So we'll start with the chaplet. Uh, and the chaplet of Divine Mercy focuses on the moments of Christ's death and resurrection uh, and sacrifice. Uh, mostly his, uh, I mean, his, his doesn't focus on his re resurrection, focuses on his, his sacrifice on the cross. So, as always, we, uh, we start all our prayer sessions with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, I'm going to just take off the comments. Hello, everybody on the comments. I'm going to just turn you off for now. Turn off the requests to go live because we are already live. And here we go. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Good and gracious God, we thank you for hearing all our prayer requests today, all our intentions. We ask you to send forth your spirit of healing and resurrection to those who are suffering from the coronavirus. Those who are recovering, continue to allow them to heal. Those who have any other kinds of illnesses or diseases, cancers, uh, leukemias, Alzheimer's, all kinds of physical mental, psychological, emotional ailments and diseases. Lord, we ask your healing in this very holy hour, the hour of your death on the cross, the supreme sacrifice you made on behalf of all humanity. After having been humbly born in a manger, raised among the least of us as a human, lived a life that we can identify with, sacrifice that very life on behalf of the salvation of all of us, Lord. We thank you. We ask for your grace and mercy. We know you do not answer our prayers in the way that we always wish to have them answered, but you do answer them in a way that is best for us, whether or not we realize it, Father. And we thank you for answering our prayers. We answer, thank you for, for not answering the prayers that might harm us in some way, that might not be our best, for our best good, for our best intentions, for our personal well-being, Lord. We thank you for not answering some prayers, but answering others. And even by not answering, you are answering in the way that you know we most need to have prayer responded to. For those who continue to work on the front lines, Lord, we ask you for your hedge of protection and your blessing. For those who are struggling, for the children out there that in the last six months have learned a sense of fear because of the virus, who have been forced to stay home and not see their friends. Lord, we ask you to give them strength and hope. We ask them 
We ask you, Lord, to give them the ability to turn to you in this time of need, Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing and answering all our prayers in Jesus' holy name. And hear us as we say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to church the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless in the treasury of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Divine mercy, we trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Saint John Paul the Great, pray for us. Blessed Father Michael Saposco, pray for us. All you heavenly angels and saints, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And while our bodies may die through Christ and our belief in him and his sacrifice on the cross, we shall yet live with salvation for all eternity. What a Christmas gift that is. Hmm? Hey.
Um, yeah. I'm going to keep moving. I know I only have an hour on Instagram, so I want to make sure I get everything done and read and pray that I want to pray without getting cut off from either side. If for some reason I did get cut off, uh, I'm also being broadcast on Facebook through Catholify um, through a special link uh, and also to their YouTube page, Catholify. So check them out if for some reason I don't finish here uh, before time runs out on Instagram. decided to read from the gospel passage. Um, I went to midnight mass. Well, I attended virtually midnight mass last night online. It was beautiful. And we read from the second chapter of Luke, which I will read now. Uh, a reading from the gospel of Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about the child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The gospel of the Lord. Thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. I love 
that. A beautiful story. Also, after this um, holy hour, on Catholify's YouTube page, there will be a free live concert. I'm pretty sure it's live. Um, Christmas concert. So check it out. Catholify's uh, YouTube page. Uh, maybe on their Facebook page as well. So I also want to thank um, this extra device. I've got my iPad going here for the YouTube Facebook. And I've got this lovely little holder, this iPad holder that was sent to me by my friends at Hallow App. So thank you guys again for that uh, because it's awesome. And uh, those of you that um, have been asking, there's some stuff coming down the pike that I will be reading and narrating for Hallow, uh, the app. So uh, yeah, for those who've been asking, uh, stay tuned. A lot happened in 2021. Okay, so we now go to the scriptural rosary. Hopefully I can finish it in time. Uh, this little book here, it's called the scriptural rosary. Um, it's kind of how I think the rosary started, being based on scripture. Um, and it'll give you an idea as to um, why we say the scripture is based on, the rosary is based on scripture. Or you'll hear exactly where these prayers um, are coming from. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery. The Annunciation, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a virgin and the virgin's name was Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself 
what this greeting could mean. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and his reign will have no end. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. By the way, these are all from the first chapter of Luke. We started the reading was from the second chapter. Mary said to the angel, but how can this come about since I am a virgin? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will cover you with its shadow. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Fatima prayer. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary set out at that time and went to the hill country. And she went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She gave a loud cry and said, of all women, you are the most blessed. And blessed is the fruit of your womb. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, 
Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the nativity. Happy birthday, Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now, while Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem, a time came for her to have her child. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And she laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the countryside close by, there were shepherds, and the angel of the Lord appeared to them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy, a joy to be shared by the whole people. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to men who enjoy his favor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And some wise men came from the east, and going in, they saw the child with his mother, Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And falling to their knees, they did him homage. They offered him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Mary kept in mind all these things and pondered them in her heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Once again, if I do run out on Instagram, and it does not save, you can find me on Facebook, on my Facebook page. And also, uh, we will be continuing to the very end on Catholify's YouTube page, just in case, because i got less than 10 minutes, I think, or so. Please, God, we won't get interrupted. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation at the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Observing the law of Moses, they took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now in Jerusalem there was a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And when the parents brought in the child, Jesus, he took him into his arms and blessed God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Master, you can let your servant go in peace, just as you promised. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Because my eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared for all the nations to see. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. A light to enlighten the pagans and the glory of your people, Israel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And he said to Mary, his mother, you see this child. He is destined for the fall and for the rising of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is rejected. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And a sword will pierce your own soul too. so that the secret thoughts of many may be laid bare. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And they went back to Nazareth, and the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Again, we will continue. Uh, Eric has just let me know that they will push the start of the concert uh, so that we can finish, if not on Instagram, then at least on uh, YouTube and Facebook through the uh, Zoom channel. So thank you for continuing to pray with me. And now the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. When Jesus was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. Our Father, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When they were on their way home, the boy Jesus strayed behind, stayed behind, in Jerusalem, without his parents knowing it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. They went back to Jerusalem looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He was sitting among the doctors, listening to them, and asking them questions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been, looking for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen but they did not understand what he meant. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. He then went down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under their authority. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for being here with me today, for keeping me company on this Christmas day. God bless you. God keep you. God love you. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and uh, a happy, prosperous, healthy, and blessed new year to all of you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.